That is a hit at a mile. All right guys, welcome back to 243 Outdoors. My name is Josh. We are starting part five of our Sierra Game Changer series featuring Starline Brass today. We are starting out with a expansion test. I have Redneck Ballistic Gel, which is old magazines, American Rifleman, Bassmasters, there's catalogs in here. We've been soaking them in water for a couple days in this cooler and they've actually swollen up and I can't get them out of the cooler, so we're going to cut them out. shot them through the cooler. So we have three bullets. Uh, these two here are game changers and this is another bullet that will be featured in another series. I went ahead and shot it today so we won't worry about this bottom one. I've put nails in here every two inches. Once I cut it it may expand out a little bit so we got two, four, six, eight, ten, and twelve inches so uh, we can kind of see how far it penetrated. I want to see how much uh, weight retention we have and what the actual round looks like. So I'm going to take the saws all and probably just cut down both sides here and then we can just start peeling magazines back. These uh, magazines actually soaked up about two, two and a half gallons of water. So uh, they, uh, they really soaked the water up. I think they've been in here for uh, 48 hours. All right, so that should be opened up good enough. Let's start uh, peeling these magazines back. Oh, these things are really in there. If we can get a couple of them out, it should loosen up. Tell you what, I'm going to get a pair of pliers and see if we can pull some of these out. So, here you can see it's really starting to open up. Probably the diameter's almost doubled. So here's a phone book, and uh, the back side of this phone book is pretty nasty. So, uh, did I hear a bullet fall? I'll have to look here, but uh, that's, uh, like I said, these top two. <coughs> Keep going a little farther. Pretty nasty hole. Keep getting bigger. There is a piece of our green tip. Lay that to the side. Not much of it. You can see these holes, that would absolutely be devastating. So we are two inches in now.
So we're four inches in. So we're starting to open up. So we have a bullet here. Our, we're about a little over four inches in. So there's not a lot of weight retained here, it feels like, but we'll try to clean this up and weigh it. And our other bullet's the same spot, so that's good. They're equal distance. So in wet magazines, we are about just shy five inches of penetration. So there's our other game changer. That's a, that's a pretty wide expansion on it. So that worked very well. It's what I wanted. We got a big pile of magazines. And uh, let's get these rounds cleaned up and weigh them and see what we got. If you look down here in the bottom, it's kind of hard to see for the light, but there's lots of little pieces of copper jacket and lead that the uh, game changers lost. So I've been cleaning on these game changer rounds and here's what we have left. It's pretty much just the copper jacket, which is still pretty heavy. There's still a little bit of a magazine residue in there. I took a pick and, and got all that pile dug out of these two rounds. But these started life as 90 grains. Like I said, there's still a little bit in there, but not a whole lot. So uh, we throw that on the scale and we have 50.7 grains. And this other end comes up to 51.6. So we're within one grain of each other. Uh, pretty gnarly little uh, round once it opens up. Them uh, jackets are uh, razor sharp. Expanded out quite nice. Let's get a measurement on these as far as width. So at about the widest point, we're about 706. And yeah, that's probably going to be about the widest point. So when you start life, or 716, you start life at a 6 millimeter 243, that is quite a bit of expansion. Let's check this other round. 708. 708. So uh, we're approaching 3 quarters of an inch. So that is excellent expansion. And, uh, you know, we're looking at just slightly over... 50% weight retention, which these are a hunting bullet. They're designed to expand and somewhat explode. That's kind of what I was expecting. All right, so it's time for some final thoughts and we'll wrap this series up today. The uh, verdict is these rounds will shoot. They are excellent, high quality rounds. Uh, they perform just absolutely phenomenal. Uh, the groups that we shot in this series were excellent. Uh, starting out with our load development, having one group at 1.040 as our largest group is just amazing. We had two sub half MOA groups in that. Stretching this round out to two to 500 yards, we stay right at one MOA and almost right at a half MOA for uh, like our 300 yard group. When we stretch this round out to a thousand yards, it performed just like a long range match bullet. Uh, you know, we got on target on the second shot uh, shots number three, four, five, six, and seven were all in a row, no adjustments, and we made right out about an 11, 11 inch group roughly. So, uh, had a thousand yards, that is amazing. Our components work so well together. The H4350 is a phenomenal, excellent high end powder. Uh, the Starline brass is a premium brass, and uh, the, the velocities, the standard deviations that we've seen are a tribute to that brass and everything else working together. Um, I don't know what else to tell you guys about this round, but, uh, but like I said, in our little expansion and penetration test today, five inches into those magazines, the magazines were compressed in that cooler. It wasn't like they was loose. It was, uh, it was very compressed. So going five inches in, uh, that's pretty impressive. Uh, they shedded a lot of weight. Like I said, these started at 90 grains, and they ended up at roughly 51 grains. So we lost 40 grains. Uh, that's what this bullet's designed to do. They're designed to open up and come apart. This is a hunting round. So uh, very consistent in the two rounds that we tested. Um, if we shot this into some uh, water jugs, which I was planning on doing, but I never got to it, uh, we would have less, 
media and trash inside these. But uh, we got a pretty good baseline uh, for what's left. There's a little bit of left over, but roughly you get the idea. The expansion was excellent. We are just shy three quarters of an inch for a 243 round. That's pretty impressive. That's doing a lot of internal damage on a game or an animal. Uh, for as far as North America game, this round's pretty much going to cover about anything. Uh, you get pretty good velocities with these 243s. Uh, 3110. I actually uh, chronographed. I got around today, chronographed at 31.15, so we're right there, very consistent. Uh, our rifle performed excellent, just as I figured it would, and uh, I really don't know what else to say. I have picked up a second box, so uh, we got just a few rounds left, and then I will be loading up 100 rounds of these for my everyday shooting, hunting, whatever. Um, I'm going to try to get a coyote with this round this, uh, this winter. I went out this morning and I really didn't have any luck, but I did take the 243. I thought that would be an excellent conclusion to this this series if I could got a coyote this morning. But uh, conditions weren't the greatest, and uh, we just come off of a firearm season this uh, weekend, so uh, a lot of people have been out in the woods and stuff, and everything's kind of stirred up. But uh, that's pretty much going to wrap up today's series. I just want to give the final thoughts and reviews on this round, and as you can tell through every video, it has performed. So uh, thank you, Sierra, for providing the bullets. Thank you, Starline Brass, for the brass in this series. And uh, thank you for everyone watching. Just want to put out some good information on this round because it is not out there. So we got five video series. If you want to thumb back through the uh, playlist, I got a playlist created. And you can uh, actually pick out from low development to longer range to 1,000 yards. Uh, and our little ballistic test, uh, we've pretty much done it all with this round. So uh, be sure and check it out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.